Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Bo Peep? I am filing a complaint about this outfit. Well, seems this time I've jumped into a mother goose rhyme, where the likes of Little Miss Muffet, Georgie Porgy, Old Jack Spratt, and Humpty Dumpty have entertained children for hundreds of years. I wish he'd get it together. Like all folklore, we do not know exactly when or where the Mother Goose rhymes began, or if there was a Mother Goose. What we are certain of is that the literary term Mother Goose came from Charles Perrault's 1697 publication of fairy tales, but now they're most often associated with nursery rhymes. The rhymes are pretty simple in origin, and may have even started out as a way to teach children to count, learn the alphabet, memorize the days of the week, or to share important customs and beliefs. A telltale characteristic of Mother Goose rhymes is a distinct rhythm or beat that stresses certain sounds and intonation. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock. The rhythm strengthens the reader or listener's sense of language. They also use imaginative words and ideas, which spark creativity and stretch the imagination. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Mother Goose rhymes have compact structures, which quickly establish the scene and reveal the plot all at once. An entire story can unfold in as few as four lines. Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. And so between them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. Each is filled with humor, surprise endings, and clever resolutions. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. I once had a girlfriend who threatened to do that. Oh, anyway, the most recognizable characteristic of the Mother Goose rhymes is the use of wit and whimsy. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Mother Goose or similar verses have been told to children around the world. The phrases, nonsense words, alliteration, rhythms, and repetitions help children learn to segment words, an important pre-reading skill. The characters, themes, and structures become the foundation of literary education. So check out Mother Goose. Like all folklore, it is so closely tied to cultures, countries, and value systems that it's shelved in nonfiction. You can find them in the 398 to your local library. Okay, now is there supposed to be a flock of sheep around here somewhere? Or... Ah, there they are!